not going to be too crazy confusing when I initially first watched this. I was like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Uh, but we'll make it through. So to start off, each of the exercises um, are kind of contrasting exercises. So I will demo them right now. First thing we're gonna be scooting through, let me turn the screen on to the other one. Perfect, so first exercise, just a normal squat. Hands out in front if you want, or you can pop the hands up onto that head. Exercise number two, just gonna be a glute bridge or a hip thrust. If you have a weight, this is a good one that you can pop some weight onto your hips if you wanna push a little bit more. Number four, we don't have too many push-ups in here. And we're just going to standard one um, in this place. That's exercise three, actually. And then exercise four, you're still on the ground. We're doing these scat pulls where I'm in this holding position, pulling my arms back, trying to squeeze those shoulder blades. Number five, first lower body exercise. You've done these before. It's these slow little lunge reaches. Number six, haven't done this baby. We're into this four point stance, kind of like a frog squat. Squat yourself down, stretch, extend out at those hamstrings. So in the second pod, we're gonna come into this super position, three leg raises, three arm raises, three full body raises. Move after that is just gonna be an inchworm. I'm gonna let these folks in. You guys have done inchworms before. Lock the hands, slow, steady out, right back up. Number five, or into that one, coming into that lateral lunge step. I'm down a little bit lower the whole time. We're into that midpoint lunge next. So I'm into this half squat position, lunge them forward or back, pretty much wherever you want. Last two in this one, rotational push up, pushing yourself down, open up wide. Rotate through that body. Last one then, and this set's gonna be pike crunch. Legs are straight in the air, reaching towards those toes. So that'll conclude the first two pods. And then after that, um, once we get to them, I'll explain that first, uh, the first three of the next one. So back yourself out. Let's get you guys ready to rock and roll. Get you warmed up right now. Five, four, three, two, one, boom. High knees, punch them right in place. If you guys just joined up too, I will post that workout one last time. Looks like I'm missing the squats in this one, but we'll start up with squats. Three, two, jumping jacks. Next one, nice easy set of jumping jacks. So these first few sets are going to be 60 seconds of work. Heck of a long time to work. We got the abduction coming up next. Three, two, one, front to back, externally rotate out through those hips. So take your time with them, especially on those squats. 60 seconds, you can squat that whole time, just trying to keep it consistent. Four, three, two, whoops, mountain climbers actually next. Up onto the hands, come into those mountain climbers for me. Four, three, two, one, flip them on back around, rotate back and forth through those hips. You guys can all do this on your own even too. Five more seconds. Two, one, into those hip thrusts. So we will be doing these during the workout today. Like I said, if you have a dumbbell or you have some type of weight, you can pop them onto your hips. Really try to activate those glutes even a little bit more. We'll be up into that groin stretch coming up next. Three, two, one. Nice deep squat down. Stretch through those hammies. Squat them on down. Stretch through those hammies. Got a few left. We're going to be moving in just a bit. Three, two, one. Up. A little bit of a rotation for me. And in any of these uh, warm ups, too, guys, I don't necessarily find this move the most useful. So if you think my hips need a little bit more work, you can stay down and do that hip stretch one more time instead of this baby. High knees, right to here, up nice and tall. Then you got a set of burpees coming on up next. Five, four, three, two, one. Take them into the burpee, feet out nice and wide for me still. Eliminate that jump even if you need. 
I just posted a playlist up in the chat. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's ABBA day. Uh, got a number of ABBA songs in there. So if you want to pop that baby on, pop them on. 15 seconds rest, then we're going to get into that first set. So ready yourself on up, starting up with those squats first. Up nice and tall. We want consistent pacing this whole time. Don't worry about speed. Three, two, one, go. Even though this is just kind of a basic squat, this is one too if you want to add a little bit of weight onto it. This is a good one to add a little bit of weight to it. Um, even though it's a basic squat, if you're not really warmed up too well um, or too properly, this can get really tricky uh, really fast. So you might think, hey, I can usually crank these squats out with a hex up. You might just need a little bit more time to warm up. Find the feet on out a little bit too, even if you need them. Like I said, we don't do often, a lot of times, 60 seconds of work. It's gonna feel like a long time because we still got 20 seconds left right here. 15 left, then you can ease them on back. If y'all are outside or you're in a garage or something too, really humid out today, um, I'm sweating already. Five more seconds, and you can take them on back, so maybe ease into it a little bit more too. Three, two, one, relax. Full 20 seconds of rest right here too. Each of these movements, so like the next two, you have push-ups first, and then you have a back exercise. So we want to try to push yourself as much as you can on each of those exercises. Drive through the hips, squeeze those glutes, push them up toward that ceiling. Three, two, one, go. I'd suggest holding up at the top just for a second. Try to really focus on activating through the glutes, not necessarily the hamstrings. So turn these babies on. These ones shouldn't be firing quite as much. We want to focus on those glutes as much as we can each time. You don't even really have to hit the ground if you don't want to. Big key, I don't want you to spend much time down on the ground. So if you're going to touch the ground with your butt, pop right back up. You should be moving or holding at the top this whole time. Not really resting at all here. Got about another 15 seconds, and then we'll move you on. Keep at them, keep at them. Last 10 here. Squeeze through those glutes. You can stay on the ground after this one, too. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, great work with that. So we're gonna scoot down, switching up exercises. So we still got 60 seconds of work, 60 seconds of push ups right here. This might be a time frame where I say I'm gonna work for 20, rest for 10, work for 20, the rest for 10, and then finish out for 10. But we're going full 30 or 60 seconds. Three, two, one, go. If you all are gonna rest, feel free to drop down to the knees too, widen those feet out. I think everybody knows how to change up a push up now at this point. Don't work yourself to full exhaustion. So pause a little bit before that, because otherwise you're going to need to take more time to rest to get back into it and probably only be able to do a few push-ups. We got 30 seconds left right here. So if you know, I can do maybe a max of 15 push-ups. Go to 12, rest for a little bit, come back, try to do another 10 or 12. You got 20 more seconds here, 20 more seconds here. We'll be right on our bellies after this one too. Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. Strong push-ups. Last 10 seconds, 10 seconds, almost done. Give me a few more, regardless of how you're doing them. Fight through these last three, two, one, relax. So you guys can watch me right here. Hips are coming up off the ground and right back down. I want you to pull those shoulder blades back together. Try and almost feel that area right between those shoulder blades. Nice, tight little pull, boom, back again. Kind of trying to simulate like if I'd be doing a row bent over. Three, two, one, go. When you do do this, make sure that you lift that chest up off the ground a little bit so I'm not just laying on the ground, pulling my shoulders right here. Lift that chest up, pull. Lift that chest up, pull them on back down. 
30 seconds left here. This is working a pretty small muscle group too, so it might get pretty intense pretty quickly. We got one more set, I guess two more sets of 60 seconds after this, and then we'll switch them on up, go through it again at 30 seconds. 10 seconds left, and y'all can relax in just a bit. Keep them coming. We'll stand back up in just a little bit. Three, two, one, and relax. So right here, moving into that little lunge position. This isn't a really full lunge jump, so I'm kind of bent forward, a little bit of a reach. Staying down in this positioning that whole time. So even though I'm bent forward, you can see my back is still pretty straight. I'm not trying to worry about touching the ground. I'm just bent forward a little bitsy. Three, two, one, go. You can feel free to walk those feet back and forth too, like I'm doing right here. If that jump is a little much, but we're just in a little bit more of a bent position. So that bent position gonna put us almost into a little bit more of like a deadlift spot. Gonna work the backside of those glutes and hamstrings just a little bit more than they normally would. Great job, great job y'all. 20 seconds left, 20 seconds left. Fight out for another 15 right here. Almost done, almost done. Pushing last bit, and we got one more exercise in this set. Five, four, three, two, one, boom, relax. Okay, so next positioning. Gonna be a little bit funky. We're coming into this extension, so my hips are extended down into this bent position. So I'm down, fully extended into this inchworm, drop the hips back. So you're just switching back and forth. Three, two, one, go. Trying to just stay consistent with it. So this is pretty similar to kind of that glute bridge that we were doing. Trying to keep those legs moving. We don't want to rest too much in that upward position. This one is going to feel funky, but it'll be, it'll get tricky uh, fast. So those hamstrings back of the legs are going to get turned on quite a bit. Trying to fight for another 30 seconds right here. 30 seconds. Punch the last 15, then we're gonna go through all these babies one more time. 30 seconds of pop. Good work, y'all, good work. Full extension through those knees. Three, two, one, and relax. So we only got 10 seconds of rest in between each exercise too. We're gonna move through them pretty quickly. Squats are up first. So same thing, squats, then the glute bridges. 30 seconds of peace. So this time grab some weight if you got them for sure, since we're only going 30 seconds, we'll pick that pace up just a little bit. Three, two, one, go. On these ones, especially if you don't have any weight, give me a nice deep squat each time. Pushing out another 10 seconds. We're gonna drop right to the ground after this baby. Make those transitions nice and quick too because we do only have 10 seconds each time right now. Three, two, one, relax. Drop down to the ground, switch them up. Glute bridge, drive them on up. Moving the whole time. Three, two, one, go. On the way down too, don't just let the hips flop down. Try to control yourself coming downward with each motion. 15 left. Rolling five, four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, this next time, push-ups here, still only 10 seconds. I'll challenge you to try to keep moving that whole time. Three, push-ups, two, one, go. Arms 
really getting a break for the next few movements too. So keep at it, keep at it. Fight to hold in that plank position. If you're gonna rest, rest down at the top, rest up at the top just a little bit. Keep them coming guys, keep them coming. 10 seconds left, 10 left, almost done. Five, four, we're down on our chest after this. Two, three, two, one, relax. Boom, pop yourself on down. Same thing as before, pull it back through those shoulder blades, down again. Hold this one if you want to, a little bit at the top. Three, two, one, go. Remember, big key, I'm bringing my chest up off that ground each time. You're not gonna get a lot of activation if my chest is just down onto the ground. Try to pull back just a little bit. Boom, right back down. Final few seconds, we're back up off the ground in the bit. Three, two, one, boom, relax. Pop them on back up, two exercises left. Got the lunges first. Quick little hops right to here. Three, two, one, go. Even though this is a small little jump, still focus on absorbing yourself down, catching with those that uh, knee absorb through. Try to stabilize through that knee too, so if you find yourself wobbling a lot on that catch slow them on down just a little bit too back is still nice and straight for me you're not hunched forward reaching down towards that ground five seconds left then we got that goofy four point move in a bit three two one relax so back again knees extended boom drop yourself down knees extended down into kind of that bear crawl position three two one go Nice consistent breathing for me here. Two, halfway done. Longer breather after this, baby. We've got 45 seconds, water break, and then we're down on the ground again, too, for the next couple. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Full minute break right here. Full minute break right here. So if you guys wanna watch me for just a bit, too, I'll go through these movements really quick because we have done them before. So this first one, you're gonna go super complex. So three times, just my legs coming off the ground. Three times, you guys know what three is, the arms, and then three times together. You're just going through those as many as possible. And then next up, inchworm out. Spend as much time on the arms as possible. So right now I have a lot of weight on my hands, sure I can move in and out more quickly, but we want to take them slow and controlled. So first up, down onto the ground. We're going to get moving in 10 seconds, super complex. Legs first, arms second, both of them at the same time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. We're really, once again, trying to use those glutes to activate and lift those legs up off the ground each time. Take your time between transitioning between these reps too. So don't worry about speed at all. We wanna take the nice and consistent, steady pacing. Bring those legs up, boom, bring that upper body up, bring them both up together. 30 seconds left, we're pushing on into the inchworms next. Consistent pace in two, lower back's gonna get a little bit of a break up after this one. Great exercise, even though it's working a little bit smaller muscle groups to do throughout the day too. We don't really get a whole lot of that lower back work. 10 seconds left if we're just sitting around all day. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So with the inchworms, consistent pacing, Weights mostly on those hands. If you want to, at the start of the position, add a pike push up into it, and then walk yourself out into this full extension. Feel free to add a push up on either end if you want. Three, two, one, go. Otherwise, you're walking in, walking on back out. So I don't want to bring my hands so close to my feet that there's no weight or no pressure on them. We want to try to keep them under tension for a long time. Push up optional, 
boom, walk yourself back in. Small little steps with the hand. I don't know if they're called steps still, but if you're using our hands or if steps are only denoted when moving their feet. If anybody has an opinion on that, you can feel free to chime in during our rest period, which is in 20 seconds. So keep those hands moving, consistent pacing. Legs are gonna get blasted in the next two exercises, so really move through as much as you can here. 10 left, and we're standing on back up. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. So coming into that lateral lunge, what I want you to do, stick with one leg for the first 30 seconds. So see how I'm not coming into that full standing position either? I finish up, I have this little quick step. So I'm really only moving a few feet at a time. Three, two, one, go. Pick whatever foot you want, but stick with them for the first 30. Big key here in these lateral lunges, don't let yourself fall forward. A lot of times we have a tendency to lunge and then almost bring the heel up off the ground. I want that heel planted firmly. Five more seconds and then you'll switch to the other leg. We wanna tire that one out and then get them on over. Switch up, same thing, other side. If you were already alternating, that's fine. Just keep them on alternating. But that means you didn't listen to my directions. So, but I'll forgive you this time. 20 seconds left, 20 seconds left. Keep them coming, guys. We're gonna to try to push these legs pretty hard, too, because we do have a set of lunges coming up after this and a little bit of a hold, too, but keep fighting, keep fighting. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So, into that little squat position, step yourself back or forward, whichever one is more comfortable for you. So if I'm here and you wanna step yourself front to back, that's fine. If you wanna move throughout the room too, perfectly fine as well. Three, two, one, go. Half a little squat, boom, bump them on up. If that squatting position gets to be too tough at some point, just pop them up, give me a full lunge. But otherwise, you're trying to keep your head in a pretty consistent level the whole time. So I'm here, even though I'm lunging forward, my head doesn't necessarily drop or rise too much. Halfway through here, halfway through here. Chest is still up tall. Good, 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 y'all, keep them coming. Rolling about 20 seconds left, 20 seconds left. Last 15, and you guys can ease back. Good work, Kevin, good work. Fight strong into this lunge. Legs will get a little bit of a breather after this, baby. Three, two, one, relax. So we have push-ups again, but you can feel free to take the push-up out. So exercise, push-up, down, rotate, open out as wide as you can. Push-up down, rotate as wide as you can. So on this hidden position, my arms should be almost in alignment right here with one another. Three, two, one, go. You can easily two, do this onto the knees. It'll be a little bit tougher to rotate, but you can feel free. If you need to do the push up on the knees and you wanna do the rotation on the feet, you can easily pop those feet up. Or like I said, if you just wanna take the push up out of it, take the push up out of it. It's a good idea to maybe wait for a second or two. Hold in that rotational position. Shoulder stability gonna be important really for anything we're doing and this is a great exercise to work it on. 20 seconds left, 20 seconds left. Last 15. Steve, I gotta say, I don't know where your camera is or where you do the workouts, but you, you disappear I feel like 20% of the time throughout the workout, but I assume you're still there. Four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, down onto your back, giving the arms a little bit of a rest. Pike crunches, similar to this reverse crunches we did on Monday, but legs are straight up. Reach up towards those toes or those feet. 
gets too tough to hold up, feel free just to flop them down. Three, two, one, go. So you want to think that, hey, I'm reaching a little bit forward. My legs aren't way back behind here by my head that I can just sit up and reach them. Sixty seconds is a long time, so if you want to do twenty straight forward, twenty to the left, twenty to the right, that's fine. We're at twenty seconds done right here. So if you add a little bit of rotation into it, you would just be basically reaching my right hand to my left foot, my left hand to that right foot. Halfway through here, halfway through. You guys are doing well with this one. We're going to scoot through these exercises one more time. We finish up with a little bit more core work. Uh, up at the end. Good work, good work, good work. Last 10 seconds, and you guys can ease back, ease back. All right, I see some of those sit-ups going on, Steve. That's proper solid work, solid work. Three, two, one, and relax, relax. So we're scooting all the way on back. You're moving down to that super complex, um, coming on back, and then the inchworms. So down onto the ground, 30 seconds of pop only on this one. So what I would suggest, let's go two, two, two. So keep them switching through. Three, two, one, legs up, go. Two legs, two upper body, two full. Ten seconds left already. Coming into inchworms after this, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Inchworms, moving yourself forward. Big key on this one, since it's only thirty seconds. Two, all the weights up on those hands. Three, two, one, go. Get out into that plank position. Walk yourself back in. You can speed up a little bit more this time too, but trying to keep those hands moving. So once I get to the end, boom, just keep moving front to back, front to back, front to back. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Last little grind guys, and then we'll stand you up. Three, two, one, relax. Into that lateral lunge again, same thing as before, nice and, Quick, 15 seconds each side. Three, two, one, go. Even though we're not really moving too much of a distance, try to rebound as quick as you can. So when I do that lunge, boom, I get myself in as quick as I can and I get myself back out as quickly too. Three, two, one, switch them out, same thing, other side. Three, two, one, and relax. Down to that little squat hold, lunge step forward or lunge step back, whatever you're more comfortable with. Three, two, one, go. We still wanna drop a little bit into the lunge, so it's not just this tap backward, tap backward, still dropping down. A bit to that lunge, drop it down, not necessarily just that tap. 10 seconds left, we're down on the ground for the next two. Longer breather, up after that, baby. Three, two, one, and relax. Down to that push-up position, rotational push-up. One each side, just keep them coming. Three, two, one, go. Open, 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 out wide. I'd rather have you focus on the rotation than that push-up. So if that push-up is causing you trouble or not allowing you to do the rotation as much, hit the rotation, take the push-up out of it. We do enough push-ups in these two. 10 seconds left, last set, and we got the pike crunches coming up. Four, three, two, one, and relax. 30 seconds, legs up. Four, minute break after this, baby. Three, two, one, go. Ten. 
10 seconds left. Keep them moving that whole round. Almost done. Three, two, one. Boom, cash them on out. Good work, good work. So we got three exercises left. We are gonna scoot through this four total times. So the first two rounds are gonna be that 60 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, and then we'll do them again two more times, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. I didn't post them up into the chat, but I'll show you them right now. So the first two are gonna be down on the ground. First one, bicycle crunch. So we're gonna work into that strong bicycle crunch each time. You're gonna go 10 seconds of bicycle crunches, 10 seconds of V-ups, and just keep alternating. So next up, you're into mountain climbers here, and then a knee drive. Same thing, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Third one will be up into some sprinter starts, which I'll show you once we get there. But down to the ground, 10 seconds bicycle crunches, 10 V-ups, I'll tell you when to switch. Start them in three, two, one, go. Slow, steady, remember on those bicycle crunches. We're trying to almost aim those shoulders to the knees. Three, two, one, V-ups. If the V-ups get too tough, take the feet out of it. Three, two, one, back to those bicycle crunches. Keep them alternating, keep them alternating. Two, one, into the V-ups. Closing that self back and forth, 60 seconds. These are a long time to do these tough exercises. Keep fighting through, two more a piece. Two, one, switch them back to bicycles, back to bicycles. Meant two more total, so we just got one set of the V-ups after this. Three, two, one, switch them up. V-ups to finish, V-ups to finish. Three, two, one, and relax. So we're gonna go 15, 15, 15, 15. So there will be, there, there will be fewer switches. So we'll go in right here, quick mountain climber, 15 seconds, and then 15 seconds of these knee drives, trying to activate my obliques. Three, two, one, go. Mountain climbers first. A little quicker pacing on this one. Three, two, one, into that knee tuck. So really bringing that knee up a little bit more, a little further outside, outside of my elbow, trying to activate through that oblique. Fight them back, fight them back. Three, two, one, mountain climbers, we're halfway through. So you got one more of each, one more of each. Guys are almost done here, keep fighting, keep fighting. Pushing 20 seconds left, we'll switch them into that knee. Tuck in just a second, two, one, into that knee tuck, last round. Last round, we'll be up off the uh, ground in this next one. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. I know that's a long time to be in that plank position and keep moving the whole time, so rest a quick little bit if you need to. Up to here, last exercise we'll be doing is that sprint start. <laughs> I want you to reach and drive your knee each time. Focus on power, not necessarily speed. Three, two, one, go. Opposite arm comes on up, same leg for that whole 30 seconds. We'll switch in just a bit. Leg comes all the way back, load yourself up, boom, driving on up. That front leg should be doing most of the work right here. Chest is still up pretty tall in that positioning. About five more seconds on this leg. We'll switch you on up. Good kicks, guys. Good kicks. Drive the knees. Three, two, one. Switch them up. Same thing, other leg. Give that other side some love. Strong little balance. We do have another full set of that 60-20, but they'll get shorter after this, baby, after this next one. 15 left. 15 left. Get your rest down on the ground a little bit here, too. Like I said, try to power yourself up in these sprinter starts. Use that front ankle, use that front calf to help drive up. Three, one or two more reps, two, one. Good finish all the way through, everybody. Good work, good work, good work. Dropping yourself on back down. We're into the bicycles and the V-ups. 
So V-ups are tough. Like I said, go into a normal sit-up if you need. We're gonna switch every 15 seconds here too instead of every 10. Bicycles first, three, two, one, go. Extending the legs out gonna be the easiest. Take the legs out of the equation if you need. Two, one, switch into the V-ups. I would rather have you get fewer reps each round as opposed to going all out and then needing to rest one round. Switch them back up to bicycles, 15 seconds, and then we got one last set of V-ups. Bicycles right here, bicycles right here. Three, two, one, switch them back to V-ups. Last time, last time. Those hip flexors might start to get really tired on the V-ups, so just leave the feet on the ground. Give me a normal sit-up if you need to. Three, two, one, relax. Drop them on down. So if you need a little bit of a rest in this plank position, what I would suggest, try to hit through the first 30 seconds, Take a five second rest, shake those arms out, and then finish through about the last 20, 25. Four, mountain climbers first. Three, two, one, go. And once again, at this minute long pace, you don't have to worry about a crazy amount of speed. You can see my mountain climbers a little bit slower than normal. Three, two, one. If you know that, hey, my core is a little bit weaker too, then spend the time, focus the energy on those knee tucks. If maybe your cardio system's a little bit better, two, one, switch them back to mountain climbers, quicken up that pace, then maybe focus a little bit more, like I said, on the knee tucks. Got a little bitsy more, 20 total seconds left. Three, two, one, switch to the knee drives. Last round, last round, last round. Catch your breath after this, baby. Strong activation through those obliques. Three, two, one, relax. So one big key I wanna to say too, when you drive, don't shift your body forward. We wanna to try to stay as stable as possible when we bring that knee in. So trying to keep your body nice and straight. Into the sprinter starts, one more set of 60 seconds. Three, two, one, go. And if you see two, don't worry about how many reps you get here. I want you to try to focus getting up as high as you can, powering up as high as you can each time. And with each jump, you're putting in the most effort and energy you can, not necessarily just trying to get as many as possible. Five seconds left and we'll switch sides. Three, two, one, switch them up to the other side. Good transitions, y'all, too, good transitions. Guys did really well with that, too. Not a whole lot of breaks or anything right there. Great job, great job. 15 seconds here, 15 seconds. If you need, slow down a little bit, take the jump out of the equation. We're moving up to 30 seconds on all these after this. Rolling five, four, three, two, one, relax. So we got a full 20 second rest right here, but we're going down to 30, 10 after this. So we got two more rounds through of everything, 30 seconds up. Bicycle crunches, V-ups, going 15 a pop. Now, here's where I want you to maybe quicken up the pace a little bit, because we're only working for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, switch them up, V-ups. Five seconds left, guys, five seconds. Give me one or two more reps, two, one, and relax. Flip them on over, we only have 10 seconds of rest. 15 seconds mountain climbers, 15 in the knee tucks. Three, two, one, go. Here's where you can speed up the mountain climbers a little bit. 
like I said, if you have the energy, go for it, but otherwise maybe focus on the knee tucks a little bit more. Don't worry about speeding up on the knee tucks. I want you to worry about stability and activation a little bit more. Two, one, slow them down, knee to the outside of the elbow. Activate that oblique, activate that oblique. Good stability from you guys too. Lisa, those look super. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, standing back up. 15 seconds each leg is all we got. Four, three, two, one, go. I really only want you to focus on maybe getting five or six really good reps to each side. We're already down 10 seconds, so we'll switch up the other one or switch up to the other side in just a bit. Three, two, one, other leg. Quick little transition. We only got 30 seconds on each of these. This feels way better than those 60 second work sets. Flying through these right here. We got one last set of each after this. Three, two, one, drop them on down. Bicycle crunches, V-ups, last time. Keep them moving the whole time, even if that means just the legs or just the arms. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, and one, V-up. Last time, last time. Three, two, one, relax. Pump them on around. We just got one set of these babies in this plank. Push through them. Quick mountain climbers. Get as many as you can in this time. Three, two, one, go. We're only driving 15 seconds of mountain climbers, so keep those feet moving. Boom, already 10 seconds done. Big slow down once you get to that transition. Three, two, one, knee tucks off to the outside. Activate that oblique. Keep your hips stable. You're not moving forward and back with each time, too. Almost done, almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good work, y'all, good work. We got one exercise left. Driving those legs up, full power skip. Three, two, one, go. Try to give me a quick rebound now here too. So right when I come down, explode back up. Three, two, one, switch them up, same thing, other side. Last time, last time, last time. Well, whoop, too easy. Five, four, three, two more reps. Give me two more reps and then you can relax. Two, one, and boom. Ease them on back. Relax, y'all, relax. Catch your breath, take your time. If anybody wants to post feedback in, that, uh, in the comments too, I thought that was a, a little bit wonky timing zone. Not the biggest fan of the 60 seconds. Sometimes it seems like you guys are working for four minutes um, during those 60 second time zones. Um, but you did a great job. Just trying to think of what the difference between working for 30 seconds and 10 seconds of rest is versus a full 60 second set. I have no idea really what that means, Chelsea, um, but thank you for posting your feedback into the chat section. I'm just gonna take it as a positive. We'll do, we'll just keep doing it. We'll do one, if you guys like the 60 second time frame, we'll just do one exercise for 45 minutes next week, Monday. No rest, no water breaks, just 45 minutes, one set, one pod, one lap. That's all we're doing. But otherwise, we got yoga tomorrow at noon. And then, yeah, so uh, the same schedule moving up until um, for the first week of July. So we have um, certainly set, set for the entire week or the entire first week of July. Um, but then after that, it'll kind of be a little bit wonky um, whether or not Jess or I will be around for like that July 8th, July 9th time. But we have noon classes all across the board. So Friday we have um, Webfoot classes at noon too. Um, so everything's at noon, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a little bit more of an active workout, Tuesday, Thursday, yoga classes 
Um, but you can check the website too for the schedule. I believe it is up there now. Um, but yeah, essentially the same thing we've been doing the whole term. Otherwise, super job everybody today. Good work making it through those uh, minute long sessions. Um, the web for classes, you don't really need um, equipment. If you have like a dumbbell or a weight, um, a lot of the people that come to those do. Um, so I will program them with some movements, but then I always, always have opportunities and options for people that don't have any equipment too. So it's easy enough to switch up um, if you don't have anything. My brother uses just a duffel bag. Other people use a big bag of dog food too. Some of my students do. So um, if they can make it with a bag of dog food, you can, I think, probably find something too that'll work. Awesome job, everybody. See y'all.